Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a short review on the metallic watercolour paints by KJ designed by Karen. And before I get into the review, I just want to tell you a little bit about Karen. If you've uh, not heard of Karen and you've not heard of these paints before, you can actually find Karen by searching Indigo Art GB on Instagram. And also, these paints are purchased on the Etsy page, which I will link in the description box below, is where I've got these paints from. Now, these paints can be purchased separately or in little sets. So, you can get the individual colours on their own. I do believe that if you order three more, more than three paints, should I say, you will get one of these little tins but if you order less than three paints I do believe that they'll just come wrapped up in little individual paint pans and I'll show you what they look like in a minute now th this set here what I've got is I've had it for quite a while and this one I've ordered only recently but both sets have been used because I've just swatched all the colours out what I own so I can show you uh, so bear in mind that when I do open these tubs up, they are going to the paints are going to be wet and a little bit messy because I have just literally swatched the colours down before I made this video so I can show you what they look like on white paper and black. Now I didn't have any black paper so I got I just got some ordinary white paper. I give it a wash of black acrylic and I have put the paints over the black acrylic. So you will see what they look like over black acrylic. So getting into them themselves. This is the uh, packaging what they come in. So mine came with a little PG tip tea bag. So I ordered, um, I believe I ordered six paints. It came in this little tin, um, a little PG tip tea bag, which I think is a really nice touch. So I'm just going to open the bag and it's like just a little pouch bag with a nice um, pull string on it. And obviously they came in an envelope and the envelope had bubble wrap it in. Uh, obviously I'm not showing that because I've uh, ripped it on opening and plus it's got my address on. So I've got this lovely PJ Tips tea bag which I think is nice because who don't want a cup of tea while they're colouring or painting. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit so you can see these. Then this is the tin that I got. Now I purchased six paints which came in this tin and I did have an extra a little sweet ear which I've got. Before when I ordered this set it came with a little bag of Aribos, do you know the fun size? And with this bag, there was a little gold, uh, what looked like a toffee, and I thought she'd put another sweet in. And on opening it, I found that she kindly sent me a free paint pan. So it didn't fit in this uh, tin, so I've put I've gone and put it in this tin because I had more room in there. So I got this nice, a nice little sweet to go with a cuppa. And then these are the paints themselves. Obviously, they came with this card. So bear in mind, it will be a little bit messy because I have used these paints. So I'm going to zoom you in as much as I can to show you. So just bear in mind that it, it is a bit messy. So it does come with this so you can cover your paints up. It also comes with like a little sticky thing what sticks here just with like a little magnet and that way you can just stick the magnet and then you can swatch your colours out or just use it as kind of like a mixer if you need be. Now these are the paints themselves and I'm just going to be careful because they are really they are still wet and I'm going to get messy. Now, as you can see, these paints, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit because you're going off focus there. These paints 
come in a small little pan. Now they have got a magnet at the bottom which sticks into the tray. So basically your paints are staying really firm so you can literally move them around and you know your paints are going to be secure in this little tin. They have got the name as well, or they did have. Ah, this one and most of them have got the name on the edge here. This one for some reason hasn't. But I wrote it down so I will give you the names of the colours. So let me just give you another example because I think this one's got it on. Uh, I'm just trying to be careful here because I have used them so they are damp still. Yeah, so if you can see this, it's got the actual name. So this one's called Golden Orange. And as you can see, I've got six colours in this set. Now this set, what I've got, they are small, uh, but don't be misled by it. You only need a really little tiny bit of paint on your brush. And all you need to do is put a little drop of water on your pans. Let, let the water settle a little bit to activate the pigment and then you're good to go and it only takes a little bit of water and your paint really does go a long way. So these do actually last a really long time and I don't know if you can see that but look how shimmery these paints are. So they really really are shimmery and I will go through all the colours. So this one is yellow. This one is golden orange and I will show you what they look like on paper. This one I believe is Fantasia. And then we've got your green. And here we've got electric blue and this one's just blush pink. So these come really well packaged, um, they come also with a little note saying thank you and also you get a free tea bag and a sweet which I think is really nice touch. And then obviously you've got a little card as well with just uh, Instagram, a name and then there you go, you've got the nice little thank you message at the back which is really nice. And I'll just move this out of the way, I can put that back later. So the free paint that I did get in my set, which came wrapped, like I said, it came wrapped like in a gold foiling. And I, I honestly thought it was a toffee. Right, so these are really messy. These have obviously been used a lot more. And I've only just used them as well. <coughs> so these are really messy so please do excuse me and uh, as you can see i've messed around with the paints now these have had longest and over time this purple one here the the actual magnet on the bottom is come loose so i'm not going to tip it upside down i think i've got water which has run down to the back of the palette and it's made the magnet come loose but these are the colors what i've got in here and this one here is the three colour what I got in this set. So I've lit so I've just put the spare paint pan in this tin because I had more room in this. Now when I ordered these, I only ordered three paints, and one of them wasn't set uh, wasn't properly set. So she did leave me a note and said that she'd give me one of these paints for free, which were this one. So I ended up getting four paints instead of three which i think is really nice of her to do that in the first place and if you do order um if you do order more than three paints you are going to get one of these little tins and you like i said you can actually buy them in set up tins so these colors what i've got here and like i said they are really messy but look how shimmery they are so this one is Lake Blue, I believe. This one is Purple Rose. This is from the other set, which I believe is called 
let me just find it dancing and this one's like a kind of pink it's like a purpley color but all, almost like a rosy rose gold color i find but it's got like a purple tint to it so this one here is the burlesque and then this one is the royal gold so that's what the actual paints look like and i know a lot of people are already familiar with these paints so i'm just explaining this for the people that uh, have not come across them before so i have got the colors down and i'm hoping that you're going to see these colors i'm just going to move these out of the way for now so i can get all this in into view now these colors you can see better in the daylight uh, but I am going to lift it up to the camera so you can see, hopefully you'll see the shimmer a lot more. So I'm going to try my best. Yeah. So I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. But if you can see that, it is really, really shimmery, especially on the golds. So these are the colours that look like on white paper and they definitely are gorgeous. They've got a beautiful shimmer to them, really nice. So you'll do have to excuse these squat, uh, swatches, I've literally just put them in any shape and size on the paper. And I'm going to name the colours for you. So this one is what I've started with. So we've got the blue lake. Then the second in is the purple rose. So I'm trying my best to get it in uh, so it's showing up properly the colour. The third one is the damson. So like I said, it's like it has got like that rose goldy look to it. This one is the royal gold. And then we've got the Burlesque, <laughs> burlesque, sorry. Then out of the new set, we have got the yellow at the top. And it's really a nice colour. You could almost pass it off as a really pale gold. This one here is the golden orange. Then this one's an absolutely gorgeous colour. It's like a really bright light pink it well it's like a bright pink and this one's called i believe it's called fantasia this one's just called your green so it's just regular green then this one which is really nice is the electric blue and i'm trying to keep wiggling this paper just so you can see these colors and then here we've got a really light blush pink so they're the colours what I've chosen individually to be ordered and I definitely want to add to my collection uh, of these paints. I do think as well when you go to put the paint on the page and you add the water you can really see that pigment of the mica and the metallic pigment working as you mix in your water and it looks so shimmery and gorgeous. So I do think that these paints are quite are quite opaque um when you're putting them on the white paper and you're using less water and more of the pigment you're going to get more of an opaque look then um if you're going to use like a lot of water on a larger area i would believe that it would be more transparent transparent now this is what i've used on the black acrylic now when i have this face down it looks a bit dull on top of the black acrylic i do prefer the paints on the white paper but if i hold it up then you start to see how shimmery the paints really are so i'm just going to try to get that 
but as you, if you look you can see the shimmer of these paints and, and it is it is really nice so it does work over black acrylic but you can really see the pigment of the mica i believe is it that makes it really metallic and shimmery and to say these are handmade i think they are really good in quality so again this is on the white and again look at that beautiful pigment so just to show you I'm just going to grab some random colours and my water brush pen and I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of colours and mix them in and then so you can see actually what they look like. I'm just going to be using my Derwent water pen. So I've already got my water in, in the barrel and I've got my little cloth at the side of it. So I'm going to go for some out of the new set I think. Let's have a mixture. I'm going to open them both up. Just so you can see how they work. So let's try and get you in view. And I'm just going to do this little area here. And I'm just going to figure out what colours to do it in. So we'll just go from purple, blue to pink because they're, them colours are going to mix together. So what I do is I just literally put, so we're going to be using purple, which one shall I use? We'll use this purple purple rose we'll use this pink and blue we'll try a bit of green as well so all as I'm doing is putting a drop of water on and leaving it to settle and letting that water activate the paint I've got a little cloth at the side of me so I can dab my brush because I don't want it too wet so I'm just going to go in with this purple here. I don't want too much on it first. So let's see how it works. So it's quite watery at the minute. So I want it a little less watery than that. So I'm just going to go in and wipe my brush dry. So when the water settles in the paint, that's when you're going to get most pigment picked up. As you see, it'll start to activate it and it'll start to dry out and then you can pick your pigment up. And then when you're putting it onto the paper, it'll be more pigmented. So I'm just doing a really quick, just a little example, just to show you what the paints look like. I really wish I could have filmed this in the day, but it's just too busy to. Uh, it's too busy in this house to film through the day. Right, so I'm just gonna wash this end off, and then I'm gonna go in with the electric blue which is just this colour here so we're using this colour and hopefully the paint's settled a bit more on it so I'm just going to start to come in from the middle of the purple and then I'm wiping my brush off as well and going back into the paint
Now this line here, what you can see where the blue meets the purple, I'll show you what to do with that. It should disappear if you just add a little bit of water, but I'm just gonna carry on with the paint at the minute. So I do think these paints are really good for uh, fairy wings. They are really nice if you're working with oak like that. So you can go back in with the colour you've just used. Uh, the colour you've just used. So that would be the... What colour were it? The purple rose? I believe. Or were it the burlesque? Purple rose I think it was what we're using so as you can see the second layer is even more pigmented and then again I'm just going to go back in with that electric blue so you do need good paper as well bear in mind what paper you're using when you do use these colours some more of this blue down so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean my brush off so there ain't no pigment on my brush and then I'm just going to start to blend over where this line is so we're just adding a little bit of water there and then we're going to let it dry and then we're going to go in with our next colour which will be the green and you can go back over this colour if you need to So if you hear some noise, it's just my partner coming in. And then again we're going to go back over to our colours so we're going to go back in with the blue and we're just going to keep doing that until it looks blended Then just back over with the purple. Then I'm coming back in with the blue. So just to get it all blended, sometimes you're going to have to go back in with them colours if you're wanting to do your wings that way. Depending on your paper as well, what you're using it on. 
because some paper's just going to end up. As you can see, the paper starts to lift. Right, so I'm going to go back in with the green. And then I think... I'm going to go for the yellow because I've, I'm going to go for the orange and yellow because I should have really gone purple, blue, pink or pink and purple that way down but I haven't so I want it all to blend so I'm going to go from the purple to the blue to the green and then we'll go orange and the yellow and that should all match. So if you do hear any noise in the background, it is just my partner, it's just pottering around the house. So I'll get this orange down there. It's like a golden orange. So it is like a goldy colour and it just mix in with the next colour which is the yellow really well. And I'm just going to lift it up so you can see that. And I hope you can. It's really, really vibrant in colour. And it's so shimmery when I move it with camera. And it does really blend well if you go back over your colours. So if I'm going quiet, I do apologise, it's just because I'm trying to concentrate on colours that I'm putting down. So I'm going to go back in now with the yellow. So it's just this colour, the yellow. Oh, and I have got a bit of a clump. I did actually pick up a bit of a clump there. But it really does blend out really easy and again the paper that I'm using it's on a medium thickness so I reckon I can only get away with putting so much watercolour on here but hopefully it should take it I think it's about 160 uh, GCM so 160 gram I think <laughs> And I'm, yeah, I really like that. So this is what it actually looks like. Just going to try and get you in that view. So really shimmery. Right, guys. So I did do a little bit of a second wing. So I could just show you what different colours look like. So with this little second wing, I used electric blue. And I use the Fantasia colour, which is like a pink. And then I used a green, uh, which is the Blue Lake. And I used the actual green. So I've used Blue Lake, which is this colour here. It's like a, in between a blue and a green. And then I use this light green. So a lot of different colours can actually be mixed. And I do apologise for sounding background. But I just wanted to show you that. And as you, I, I know this is showing up. I can uh, see all around here. It's really, really shimmery. So I definitely, definitely would recommend these paints. Especially for things like fairy wings. And that's it, that's all I've really got to review on these paints. If you are interested in these paints, I will post the link to the Etsy page at the bottom of the description box. 
and it will take you straight to the page. Like I said before, they are available in singles and they are available in sets. I think the price has come to around £7. I'm not sure exact, but I think they've come up to about £7 each. And I think they're about £1 something for shipping. So for, for this tin of six, which is this one. So for these six set what I've got here, I think it did come for to up to around £31. So they are on the bit of the pricey side. But yet again, I think they are worth it. They are handmade. They're not, they're not produced in a factory. The quality of the paints is really good. I think the pigment is really good and they are so shimmery. So they're definitely are worth it. There's definitely a lot of time and effort put into the paints. Uh, but that's it for now. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, I apologise for any noise what's in the background. And I shall see you all soon.